This is one of JPL's entry-level wireless IEMs. The package includes a micro USB cable and three ear tip sizes. The control center houses the microphone, charging port, volume rocker, and a multi-button function for your calls, powering on, and media playback. The buttons are easy to actuate them. The cable is 81 cm long, and JBL is supposed to provide a cable management tab. Even though, yes, the battery and the control center sits well on your neck, but there's still too much cable floating around. The market average length for cables is 53 cm. The earbuds are also magnetic. The control center is a bit far from your mouth, so you have to bring it close to you if you want to speak into it. I do not recommend this for gym or sports workout, only for casual listening, because the battery unit tends to dangle around too much during movement. JBL can be a bit more wiser into making this a bit more user-friendly, like the Edifier W288BT, the Creative Outlier 1, and lastly the Sony WISP500 that we have reviewed earlier. There is links in the description below for you to check it out. As for sound isolation, it is pretty good. This is thanks to the 0.5 cm tube. It is powered by a 9mm Neodymium dynamic drive. It uses Bluetooth 4.0 for connectivity and the maximum stable line of sight is 10 meters. The battery life is rated at 6 hours. Our battery life test based on the iPhone 6 at the third volume bar lasted us 7 hours and 20 minutes. Now moving on to audio quality, pop and EDM. For this, you'll be using Tian B OK. The low bass frequency is energetic and present. It does not eat into the vocals, but it does have a bit of bass distortion. The subtle bass vibration fades quickly. The low bass frequency is not well-bodied, it feels half-hearted. The vocals overpowers the bass. A first time for us after 53 audio reviews, this is not a good start. Next, we have Pia Mia Do It Again. The bass has decent energy, but you can't feel the air pressure much. The vocals overpowers the bass, though there's a clear separation between those two. The bass does not have much structure. The EDM tone sounds wacky and not focused. Moving on is vocals and instrumentals. For this, you'll be using violin the raindrops. The piano and violin tone sounds doable. Too much shine at the high with no body to the violin and piano tones. It's a half-hearted feeling. Violin and piano overpowers the bass and drums in terms of audible levels. There is a clear separation between the two. Next, we have Panatonic C True. Mitch grassy, high-pitched male tenor vocals perform well at the highs. Each singer can be identified easily. Every diction and pronunciation is crystal clear. Vocals, beatboxing, echoing and humming is orgasm does not overpower Mitch Grassi's vocal in the song. This wireless IAM performs well from the mid to the upper mid range. Our test has no equalizers and we tested out on two media players, Sony NWA45 and Fio X3 Mark III, which both produce the same end results after 85 hours of audio burn-in. This is good for vocals such as a cappella songs. It's not very good for bass hits. JBL missed a mark on this one. If you're interested in purchasing this, there'll be links in the vid video description below. Do leave a comment about your opinion, where you're from, and tell us what shall we review next in, in our videos. Do leave a like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.